In this tutorial here, I want to quickly demonstrate how we can find the p-value from a given z-score. And we would get z-scores usually when we are dealing with normal distributed data, which have been standardized. So what are we actually looking for? Um, we are looking for basically a normal distribution. So here would be my normal distribution like this. And it would look a little bit like this. So that would be a normal distribution, more or less, uh, just drawn by hand. We know that uh, the standard normal distribution is centered around a population mean of zero. And then we have uh, the sample standard deviations. And we know that as per definition of the normal distribution, for example, if we've got a sample uh, standard deviation of sigma, and here we would have two sigmas, uh, this sigma would be in the standardized form one. And we know that, for example, 95% of our uh, data would be within this two sigma range. So this uh, range here between the plus two sigma and the minus two sigma, they contain 95% of the data. Uh, or in other words, the remaining parts here, so that's this black part here and this part here, also these remaining parts, they would add up to a total of 5%. So these two black parts together, that would be 5%. So that is what we know from the normal distribution. Here we've got the 95% roughly, uh, the one sigma range would be 68 and the two sigma range is 95%. So when we have a z-score, when we have a given z-score, what we usually want to do is we want to calculate what is the probability to find this z-score. Let's say we've got this here as a z-score. We want to find the probability to get this particular z-score or an even more extreme one. Uh, so that is basically the uh, premise for the z-score. How can we do that? Well, it's uh, there is a quite a handy Excel equation, which I have uh, put down here. So here we've got the Excel equation, uh, which is basically two times one minus the normal distribution of the z-score, we need to put in the parameters 0 and 1, and they stand uh, simply for the standardized uh, normal distribution. So this 0 here, this indicates the standardized mean, the 1 indicates the standardized standard deviation of our normal distribution and true just simply means that we are looking for the uh, cumulative uh, frequencies. So let's say we have uh, a z-score of z-score of let's say we have here um, say we make this this one here would be probably 2.5 so we've got a z-score of 2.5 and we want to calculate the p-value. So for our p-value, therefore, p-value we would get, well, we need to put in this equation here, equals two times, open the bracket, one minus, and again, we open a bracket, norm, and it comes up with suggestions. So we are looking for the normdist function. 
And here it tells us already what we are looking for. So the first parameter that we need is the z-score that we've got here. We then use our mean and the standard deviation of the standard uh, normal distribution. And last but not least, we need to say that this is true for the cumulative. And then we need to make sure that we close all the brackets. So I think I've closed all the brackets. And now we calculate the p-value. So we get a p-value of 0 0.01. So here we have a p-value of 0 0.01, which is, of course, equivalent to 1.2%. So the probability of getting this value here, of getting this value, of getting a Z a score of 2.5 or even larger, would have a probability of 0 0.012, which is the same as 1.2%. So it's a fairly small probability, uh, if we've got a normal distributed sample, to get uh, this z-score of uh, 2.5 or larger. So that is basically this uh, really nice equation. Uh, for calculating the uh, z-score, so that is the uh, or, or the p-value from a z-score, and it's a really handy uh, equation uh, when we have to find this uh, p-value from the z-score. So I hope this makes sense, and thank you very much for watching.